of douches. Yeah, I didn't go out last night. I was gonna, and I just fell asleep. It's no point. I have work shit to do today. I have work shit to do today, so yeah, whatever. I'm going to be going out soon, though. I don't give a shit. Now, look, um, my Instagram account hasn't been fully suspended yet. It's under review, see? Um, couldn't refresh feed, and then it's going to tell me, like, uh, oh, man, it's going to be, like, 24 hours, and we'll let you know, and all that bullshit. Here. So, I mean, it's real info, so, I mean, assuming they're not full of shit, I'll get my account back in a little bit, but I don't give a shit. It's an Instagram account. So, um, look, I've done giving that bitch a whole bunch of time. Look, I, I, all these secret societies, these secret clubs or whatever the fuck, they're very similar, all right? And the structure was given to the Mormons, so I, I, know, I know enough of their bullshit, all right? So, uh, she basically has been bragging about being in a secret society because she's a little princess. She's a Hyundai princess. She's a Hyundai Mason princess and all that bullshit. Okay. Now, without any of this being even the case, I just want to reiterate that she never, ever, ever told me she was making shitty auto tune music with posers. She's never told me she was making shitty music. She never told me she was making music. She told me, actually, as a matter of fact, this time last year, she had already slid into my DMs and I was like, no, you sound like a whore. I don't want anything to do with you. Right? I didn't know she was Stephanie. Then she did all this begging and crying and moaning and got a nose job. And I was like, all right, fine, we'll give it a shot. And she literally decided it was more beneficial to her to go whore around with a bunch of losers. And she told me when I called her out, I said, what the fuck are you doing? She was like, you have to let me do this because you can't get any girl prettier than me. So I dumped her ass. And she couldn't take that shit. And this whole past few months started. And now she's begging me. And I don't really want that dumb bitch back. If that dumb bitch wants to talk to me. She has to get all those pictures of her with those losers on Instagram deleted. Gone. Then she has to never put out any of that music. She has to cut those losers out of her life and then she has to explain to me why I should take her back. She doesn't do any of those. Th and even then, it's a maybe. She has to really sell it to me. Because I don't need ghetto used goods in my life. She's a ghetto used goods wannabe producer hag. She's 35 years old and she's trying to the cow says moo. Everyone, download my Spotify. You fucking whore. Aside from that, aside from the fact that she's lying to hang out with other dudes for not even that much money, and they're losers and they're opposers, they literally were offered $10,000 to step into a ring, and they didn't want to do it. But they need money. Because you're a loser, and no one likes you. Why the fuck is this other loser commenting happy birthday on your posts? Because you're a whore. That's why. Fuck you, you stupid ghetto piece of shit whore. Tiffany Young is a useless, used up, ghetto piece of shit whore. I don't give a fuck. On top of that, because she's been bragging so much about being in the Hyundai Masons to me, how much do you want to bet those losers? This, this is the thing. You guys remember when I was yelling about Zigbee and all that bullshit? Then they made bots. I never said Zigbee was a Mason. I said Zigbee made a bunch of handshake deals. It's true. Okay. Uh, you should tell Sandra Fairbanks to stop telling that like, she's the biggest vulnerability you guys have ever had. Every time I went to an event and she was there, it was like, okay, that's her SSID. That's her MAC address. Those are all her texts. Thanks. Allegedly. Anyways. Zigbee can't be a Mason. You want to know why? Because racism. If you are of African descent, you're not allowed in the Masons. You have to join the Boulay Society, which is essentially a society of only African Americans who agree to serve white people so they can be the head of the African Americans. We'll be your dog so they can be our dogs. Just like to all the Masons, you're either the initiated and the uninitiated. Believe it or not, that stupid hag who is essentially scarecrow... I feel like I do owe Lauren Southern some kind of an apology because if I would have known how much one of my AI bots would have ruined her career, well, it's just dessert because you deserve every single bit of it. Uh, but she is so desperate for um, good karma, she's leaking and spilling the beans someone showed me.
she's saying she's saying how they all consider you goyim because there's two ways to make money. Either you make money yourself or you get someone else to make money for you. And they call that sales and marketing. No, that's that's the initiated tricking the goyim, the sheep, the uninitiated into working for them and being their slave and calling it salary or some shit like that. The thing, though, about when you go down to like covenants and the, the, the science behind all the pageantry in these societies, what Gordon B. Hinckley was teaching was if you stay out of debt and you keep your shoulder to the wheel, that shit won't affect you. You just saw it. They tried to steal $100,000 from me. It's going to be coming back soon. A lot of shit going on behind the scenes because I dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's. I kept my shoulder to the wheel. And the entire time, I was making more money than them because they can only make money when someone else makes money. I make money whenever I need to. On top of that, that kind of bullshit only works in the old way of doing things. What they never told you was you're not supposed to ask to join any of these clubs. If you ask, you can never go be a, uh, above a certain level. The reason why they're letting people join who ask is because it's all a pyramid scheme. And they need someone to be below them. So if you ask, you're always going to be below people. Before 9-11, they had to ask you. It was If you wanted to join and become initiated, you had to become so awesome, so heroic, so epic that they needed you. They are trying to trick me into asking them to join. I don't want shit from them. They need me. That's why they copy me all the time. All right? So no, these people, Zigbee's probably not a Mason. He's probably a Boulet Society. Just like the loser, Ghetto Trash Whore, was hanging out with, it's probably also some kind of a Boulet Society. This bullshit industry that they're in is so controlled, they won't let you, unless you are some kind of thing like that, so they can control you. That's why Tiffany's like, oh, explain it later! Oh, you mean you signed your name away in blood? Guess what else this stupid whore didn't, didn't know? She's trying to pull some Mormon bullshit on me. Probably her mom was Mormon, and she hasn't had any Mormon bullshit since she was like 11. She's trying to pull all that soulmate covenant bullshit on me. What she doesn't understand is, according to her own... her, I'm using her rules. The rules she tried to, like, you know, trap me with are covenants. Okay. Okay, so let's say there's a soulmate covenant we made before we were born, which is complete bullshit. I'll play along with your rules, okay? The moment you break your covenant with me, I owe you nothing. So you told me soulmates last year. Then you stole a bunch of money and ran to whore around with a bunch of losers because handshake deals and boule society and all that bullshit, and it's got nothing to do with me. So you broke the covenant. So I'm not your soulmate. Thank God, right? Why don't you go shake some more hands behind the scenes, hang out with some more fucking controlled poser losers for less than a fourth of a half of a cent because, oh, that's what it is. If The reason why you're supposed to wait until you're asked to join to join is because animal farm. If everyone is a farmer, there's no one doing the work. There's no produce, right? Just like when, at first it's the farmers controlling all the animals, and the pigs are like, we gotta get rid of the farmers, and then we can, be, and then we can all be free. And the pigs get rid of the farmers, and then they become the new farmers, and they keep working the horse until it dies, and all that bullshit. And it ends with the pigs looking just like the farmers, and all the animals still being slaves. Just like all the bankers and the elite and the masons and the boulets talk with the proto-humans and the Anunnaki and all that bullshit, but like way up at the top. That's kind of how it, you can't really tell the difference between the, the, the Klaus Schwab coneheads and the regular coneheads because really, really just they have a bit, bit of a cone. Their cone's a bit bigger. Their eyes are a bit wider, but they're all just screwing us over, right? That's what it is. So it doesn't really matter. They're screwing us over. Your music sucks. Your music sucks. You did this to yourself. You're a ghetto used goods whore. Your friends are posers. Your friends are losers. I don't want anything to do with you. If you cannot get rid of all those Insta pics, one of which is on your own goddamn page, don't talk to me. If you get rid of all those Insta pics, and then you can explain to me why you had a whore around with a bunch of losers after you begged me to be in a relationship with you, I'll consider it. But I'm always going to think you're a ghetto used goods whore. You're used goods to me. 
you broke the covenant. I don't want to sign back into it. Fuck off.